everybody. Welcome back to the Inhabit Mars channel. Say hi. Hi. Wave hi. Can you wave hi? hi. There you go. Oh, over on this one, sweetie. The camera's over here. All right. Uh, today, we are going to take a look at this, um, if I can get to it, video that uh, Chris put out. This was from the Zhurong rover, China's rover. And um, we're going to look at that image. I tried everything to bring what I could out of there. And I even looked at Chris's burns. And uh, just getting any detail out of some of this stuff is pretty uh, pretty tough. So this, hold on, sweetie. This right here is where you can find the image. Here, here's your cuppy. This is where you can find this image. Um, this is... Uh, the China National Space Administration's webpage, and if you uh, scroll down on this, you'll uh, you'll see that uh, that image is down there. I'll put a link to it at the end of the video. Uh, do I have it on here? I need to big for me. Okay. All right. So here is the image. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, this is the raw image, and uh, I just want to point out a couple of things in this image. Um, anywhere you see this light texture right here, they've actually covered stuff up, and you'll see it in the burns. Um, this is just a texture that's been applied. It doesn't quite match the terrain around it, but that's okay because we're not going to focus on that area. This over here, if I can get over to it, is where we found some interesting stuff all right so let me go ahead and go to the enhanced image please tell me i loaded the enhanced image up there we go all right so this is the enhanced image here and uh chris pointed out this structure here and i'll point it out too there's lots of structures they're all coming towards you kind of at an angle like at a angle like this um and it's hard to make out a whole lot of detail but we did get some out of it and uh, at least got some stuff modeled now what I want to point out something that uh, I don't remember if he pointed this out or not but I'm gonna go ahead and point it out I believe that this area right here all this lighter area is a roadway and I'm gonna show you why I think that here in a minute and I think it comes all the way to here and it turns 90 degree and goes off into the uh, background over here. And uh, if I zoom in here, <laughs> if I zoom in here, uh, you can see where they've actually applied uh, blurring and uh, a texture over it. So they did a texture and blurring. But you can see how they just kind of paint it over this and it actually disappears through here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And it's blurred all the way across here. Oh, Tommy. Yeah, leave that alone. Tommy, Daddy. Hold on, sweetie. It goes all the way over here. Um, where did I see? Uh, give me two. Mommy, give me one. And it might come to here and then turn back this way. But like I say, they took out all of that. And that's a, that's a big blur through there. And, of course, the buildings are, are blurred slightly too. Okay, let me zoom out and move over here. So this is the area we're focused on today. And I just want to point out this is one structure here that I got modeled. This is one here. Um, this is a pretty big structure here. And then there's something beside it. I haven't got the one, but, okay, no whining. I haven't got the one modeled there. And then there's like this pyramid structure here. Now this is as clear as I can get these. So um, let's go ahead and go to Blender and take a look at them. I wish they would have come out clearer, but I did everything to try to sharpen it and everything. So let's start with um, 
this one here. Now, if this is a roadway that's between these uh, buildings, then um, it, it splits the, these buildings that are in the foreground, and there may be one here too, by the way, with the ones that are in the back. Uh, let's move him out of the way. Sweetheart, you're making this difficult here. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. Let me move him to the center of the screen. All right, and you can see it's got these dark places. If this is a building, if it is, then these are most likely windows and stuff. And uh, this is kind of what this one looks like here. All right, that's that one. And I'm gonna go a little bit fast. There's not a lot of detail to worry about missing anything here. Uh, but this is the one Chris pointed out. Hmm, we're gonna move you on the z-axis. Okay, so it looks like it has these uh, walls right here and this may be a ramp going up to it. Um, it seems to be on this base. Let me back out so you can see it so it's not so blurry. And then I couldn't tell if these are windows or if it's open. But I went ahead and modeled it as open. I figured it's some sort of warehouse. And then here's the ramp that goes up here. So I went ahead and modeled it like that. Um, that's that one. And then uh, this one was a pretty big building, if it's a building. Take a look at the size of that thing. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> uh, here's this wall right here. And it's got this piece protruding out. That protrudes out. All right, and it's either a window or something dark right there. Then you got this side over here where this one protrudes out. And this is what that kind of looks like. I wish we could get a lot more detail out of these, but uh, I'm sure they have better cameras than what they're showing. Um, I just can't believe that they put a, a $5 uh, a 1.7 megapixel camera on this rover. And that's about what it looks like. So I'm sure it's just the way they've downgraded the images as we got them. So this was hard to make out. I'm not sure 100% that this is a pyramid-like structure, but it has that uh, pyramid shape to it. Uh, so I don't know if that's correct or not, but you can see these darkened sides. One there, one here, and then this top on it is kind of extruded upward. I was really hoping we get better images from them. Okay. Let me show you what it is first, and then I'll... So here's this... Hey, 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 you're bumping me. Let's move you over here. Okay. This is a pretty uh, pretty good sized structure here. Um, it has this big square base, and it's probably... It's probably stairs that come down. Uh, in front, cause see how this Aurora, you're on my arm, honey. See how this comes down at a slanted angle. All right. Where is it? There it is. It, it helps if I click or if I'm pointing to the right place. All right, and then this right here is actually this building right here, which is a separate structure. It kind of has the shape of a hotel. And it actually has what looks like an awning here. Now, it's so blurry, I can't be for certain. And then it looks like windows here and here. So uh, I just called it. Hey, see my name for it, darling? You're not even paying attention. I'm trying. That's also, Utopia. Wow. <laughs> because the Zhurong rover is in Utopia Planitia. So. I just call it the Hotel Utopia. I don't know, like I say, it looks like a pretty large structure compared to some of these other structures. And that's those structures there. How are we doing on time? 11 minutes. Okay. 
this one was um This one over here, it looks like some sort of statue or something sitting there, and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Stop pulling on me, sweetie. She's trying to go to you. Okay, y'all are making this tough. All right, here you go, mushroom. Mm. Okay, so here's this structure here. It's got this part that protrudes out on this uh, left-hand side. You brushing your teeth? That's my arm. All right, so we got that one. All right, this one. This thing is cool. Don't touch. Don't touch me. All right, and then we have this one here. All right. So there's this piece over here that protrudes out and it's either open or it's a window. I can't tell which. And then it's got, take a look at this thing right here. It's so blurry, but it's got this like uh, box shape to it. It kind of looks like that. Oops, go to the center. All right, that's what that one looks like. So that's pretty cool. You went down? All right, so that. So that's that one. Now there's more structures back here, but I'm not sure we're going to uh, be able to bring them out. I'll try uh, to see if I can get that any better, but that's about. All I can make out here. There is one here with something sticking up. You can see how it goes down onto the rooftop. But uh, once again, I don't know what that is exactly. Uh, okay, so let's go. I'm gonna show you the uh, what I've been working on on our um, on our uh, Curiosity Saw 1452. So let me bring up the images. All right, so we looked at some of this stuff back here, and uh, especially uh, what I call Jimmy's machine over here, and uh, there's still a whole lot of stuff to make out in here, but I went ahead and modeled this piece here, which I'll show you. And I want you to check this out right here. I don't know what this thing is, but somewhere in here is the back of it. And uh, it's got these little buttons right here. And it's got these uh, cube-shaped buttons down here. There's four of them. They're hard to make out, but they're there. Then it's got two more of those cube-shaped buttons there. It's got this slot thing right here. You can see that. It looks like the basic shape of an old TRS-80 computer. Uh, and then it's got these three long, elongated buttons or something over here. So, uh, and then it's got, I'll be modeling this uh, tomorrow. It's either a drawer or it's a bracket. And I'm sure it's probably, but it's metal. It's probably a bracket of some sort. and. These may be rods that go across because it looks like this one is more towards the middle of this. Um, all right, so let's go back to Blender. Okay, so here we are, and uh, I'll show you this computer or whatever it is. It's probably a, a control system for something, but it looks like an old computer. So. Here's this. Um, you can see this slot with the with the two. There's one, and you can just barely make it out. But there's a second one right there. These two like flipper type buttons. That's there, and then this big uh, part, the a slot that comes out. Okay, this is that piece right there. 
So that looks pretty cool. Oh, I gotta fix something. Oh, I messed something up on that. That's that edge is not supposed to be out like that. Um, and then there's this piece which you can barely see in here. Let me get over there. Right here. That's that piece there. And then you got this thing, this hexagonal shape that sticks out with these cross pieces in the middle. So you got that. And then you can see these two uh, cubes right here that are right here. And then um, one, two, three buttons. The other, this top one looks oval. And then these two, like I said, I don't know if they're buttons or what they are, but they stick out. You can see how they stick out from that uh, good ways, I would say. There we go. That's what that piece looks like. I call it the TRS-80 computer. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, so I modeled that. Uh, let's see. <sighs> Come on, just one at a time. There we go. Alright, and I modeled this one. Uh, this thing looks pretty cool. Uh, it looked like it had something extruded on the top. I'm not 100% sure, but it did. But otherwise, it looks like a basic triangular shape. And then it's got this uh, dome on top of it with these slots in it. And you can see those slots. There's one, two, and three. So I went ahead and put those in. And that's kind of what that looks like. Well, that's that piece there. Let's see, what else did I add to this model today? No, that's not it. Was it? We looked at uh, this wedge piece yesterday, but it's pretty cool. There it is again. I have to hide this stuff. There we go. So you can see what that looks like. Alright. Let's see. I thought I added one more piece in. There was this piece. I think I showed this one yesterday. This. Alright, sweet. This one seems to have a metal plate on top of it. This is the shape that this one has. How am I doing on time? Almost time already. Alright, and this seems to be the shape that it has. There's that metal plate on top. It's got this sort of, uh, it comes to like a wedge at the front. So that's that. I think all of these parts probably uh, tumbled down this hill when the disaster struck. Um, this was stuff that was on top of the hill, and probably all of this tumbled down. Hey, stop screaming. I still haven't got to modeling that one. And then there's a cool piece behind it. But there you go. I just wanted to show you. I was I tried everything to bring that stuff out in that Zhurong uh, rover image. I was kind of disappointed. I was hoping for a better image from them, but I couldn't find any that looked any better. So hopefully we'll get better images from China um, in the future. But alright, you guys have a great day and we'll see you on the next video.